Hi, I'm Kate Ward, and today I'm going to show you how my work has evolved, how it's grown and changed through the years, how I've always loved circles, how I've always been interested in pattern and line and bright color, and I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Okay, these photographs are from a show that I did in 2011 called From the Rear View. And of course, these are taillights of vehicles as I was um, sitting in traffic. I was intrigued by them and I started photographing them. I then took them into Photoshop and manipulated them with a kaleidoscope filter and printed them on inkjet transparencies. And now you're going to see what I did with them. This is that same Prius vehicle, Toyota Prius, and um, it's just manipulated with a different, um, well, with the same kaleidoscope filter, it's just a different uh, generation. You can also see that I covered my canvas with coffee filters, used coffee filters that I collected for a very long time. Um, I also love fabric and the pattern in fabric and I would just look for things that I thought might work together with my inkjet transparency and uh, there's another one up here on the shelf that I'm getting ready to show you this is a shot from my studio that image is taken from a Nissan Armada an SUV that is a tapestry my my ECOT tapestry that I wove many years ago the last tapestry that I wove and there's some other pieces on the back there, some collage and some photo, transpa uh, photo transfer. So I did get moved, and this is my new, my new studio in my apartment, and I'm just beginning to become comfortable there. Um, here are some other collages that I did. You, uh, obviously, I still enjoy texture and line and circles. <laughs> So these are just some collages I would use at my sewing machine and I would stitch on them and paint on them and just layers of collage. You can see there that, that that's really the beginning of when I started using that plastic uh, divider from the cupcake. Uh, oh, that divider from the big box bakery that I've talked about before. Here are a couple more. You can see stitching. Lots of gloss there, I apologize. Here's another one, the last one. And then uh, underneath these pieces are some canvases. I think they're eight by eights. I'm just starting them. I have used a stencil and I've used a pencil and drawn through the stencil. Uh, to transfer the pattern onto the canvas and I've also covered I've just painted and sort of done an isolation coat with some paint to keep it from shifting and next you're going to see uh, some other material that I'm now using for stencil and mask material because since I'm in an apartment I'm kind of con concerned about the mess in my kitchen and uh, so now I'm, I'm not so concerned about washing my stencils and now I'm using manila folders and cutting them uh, using the whole folder. Uh, now that I'm showing you, um, that was a subject divider that I started off using. Many of you have asked me what I'm using for my masks and my stencils. And so these are from that, the first uh, few times that I, I cut up plastic subject uh, dividers and this is some colored mylar that I got from Amazon kind of a photo filter that had a kind of a oh well a clear coating on it and when you soak those to wash them that clear coating comes off but you're left with a colored mylar that's very easy to see as opposed to the clear mylar some of the mylars too are very difficult to cut so you might look at how at the mills that they are before you buy them. And I'm showing you now that I'm using 
manila folders. And the more paint, the more times you use them, the more they'll become coated with paint. And they, they really, especially if you flip them over and paint on both sides, they'll get really strong. And so you won't have to worry about them falling apart too bad. So stay tuned for my next videos because I'm going to be using my manila folders and I'm, I'm doing some different things with my plate and I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my journey. Thanks for watching.